Hello everybody, this is Mark at KnifeGloves.com. Just thought I would put up a video demonstrating the new Part 4 glove. So my, I swear my cats are in every video that I put up. Anyway, um, just wanted to show it off. Uh, new aging process, new coloring, uh, new back plate. It's got more of a faded gold color in the brass. Uh, this is a deluxe model. And I spent about ooh, maybe two days making this one. Uh, again, I'm not as experienced as some of the other builders that are on the internet right now, but uh, I'm very happy with how this one came out. Uh, as you can see, the black texturing on the back plate. It's got more intricate bending. Makes it look a little older. Just a little more beat up. As you can see, the intricate details in the bending of the back plate. Also the fingers, a little more exaggerated in the bending. Just trying to get the light to show the different concaves and the and the metal and whatnot and the fingertips. Uh, these are new templates. Uh, also another thing that I added to this one was the the red finger uh, fingertip coloring. Uh, the t fingertips should have a reddish tint to them and uh, just thought I would show that and the rivets I haven't done this on any of my previous models but the rivets are actually dented as they're supposed to be uh, with the black dots I've always had the black dots on them but I never have dented them before uh, and the blades on this as you can see they're older looking and I weather those, make them look a little more crude, a little dirtier, and just gives just matches the armature a lot better. Also added another detail, which is the the squared fingertips on the first three fingers. Um, I haven't researched this glove as much as I have the part one glove, so uh, just going off of some photos that I've seen of of the in in, in film glove and I do see that it does have the squared fingertips uh, so hopefully with time and practice this glove will just get better and better I've spent most of my time researching the part one and trying to get that as as accurate and good as as possible so just let me put this on really quick here okay just pull string works very very well okay demonstrate it. It's a very comfortable, very comfortable glove to wear. And finger movement. It's very nice. Very you can pretty much close your hand all the way. And so oh, another little detail. Uh, put the little tear in the side of the palm there. There's a small tear on the original glove uh, in the film. And so just demonstrate it. Get the it's all metal, and again, just get a good, nice look at it. Hopefully, I can make all of my gloves uh, at least similar to this. Again, uh, I put about two days worth of work into it, so hopefully, the person that's going to wind up owing it uh, is very happy with it. So, uh, again, I'm not taking any orders right now, but I'm almost caught up and hope to be uh, very shortly. And so hopefully I'll be able to start selling some gloves again because I have a lot of people that have been waiting. So I hope to be able to fulfill their wishes. So thanks for looking and shoot me any questions either through my website or through YouTube. So thanks for watching and hope to hear from you. Take care.